Nice. And then just to kind of wrap up the, the Scrum Bank uh, commu uh, communication. So like in terms of the planning, you know, just a quick, like, like what does the planning look like? Uh, like, cause there's no, there's no exact sprint planning, right? What does that planning look like? A lot of so there is, what it is is, um, so Scrum Ban, like it is a hybrid between Scrum and Kanban. Mm -hmm. So it's built, it's generally built on Scrum and uses Scrum as a starting point. Um, if you're using Scrum, yeah. you, um, if you're not quite using Scrum, you start with wherever you are. Mm. But generally what happens is you start with, you start with, um, you start with uh, essentially um, a sort of out of the box classic implementation of Scrum. Right. And then you use that process improvement that we talked about setting whip limits and doing experimentation to figure out where you can improve it. Because mm. it's not just those scrum, you know, the, uh, the scrum um, uh, ceremonies as people like to call them, the, right. the specific, uh, you know, plan, sprint, you know, you'll do sprint planning, daily scrum, sprint review, retrospective. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just those things that are gonna be on a column, but there's other things that, that you'll learn along the way that there's other things that go into it, like right. various reviews with people, various demos, um, mm -hmm. different levels of kinds of testing that you'll do. Um, right. And, and your, 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 your columns will grow past just those basic columns. Um, right. But what a hybrid is, what, what, hi, what um, the reason it's, the reason what makes Scrum Band work is that, and what makes it a true hybrid of Scrum and, uh, and Kanban is a, scry, a hybrid of Scrum and anything else is going to preserve the essence of Scrum. And the essence mm -hmm. of Scrum is that empiricism, is that empirical process control that we talked about, right. where you're actually making decisions based on real knowledge. And it's, right. it has an inspection, visibility, adaptation cycle. And that's going to always be there at the core of it. And you're always going to, which means you're always going to have to have planning. You're always going to, it's, you know, Scrum is at its nature, iterative and incremental. Now you can move into something that's more cadence and more, more, uh, it has more of a release cadence rather than iterations and that's equally valid, even then you're still going to be planning. But, right. um, but, uh, but many Kanban teams really like Scrum and really like the rules of Scrum and stick with them very well and use, use their improvement to find other places to improve, but, tend, mm -hmm. but might not actually touch the sprint planning at all. Um, others that have, have, have migrated to a more, a more cadence-driven system will have, a, have more of a cadence planning where you plan individual work items. And then the planning becomes another a different column on the board that's done. And instead of planning a whole bunch of work items at once, you'll plan them individually. Um, nice. But you're still planning. Now, that, that, that sums it up. So thanks for sharing that. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We will sure to come back with more exciting videos on Agile topics.